Mario. Mario. Oh. Hey, get up. Huh? You know what day it is? It's a birthday! Yeah. Hey, yeah. It's a me, Mario. And Travis Bryant. Bryant. Today is our birthday. Whoa, we're so bright. Jesus. We actually share the same birthday, same exact day, January 21st. That's why today we have a crazy video coming up. I'm gonna have a gift exchange. I'm gonna give Travis the gift of our gift. This might change everything. Holy oh, shit, it's your penis. First, let's start with my birthday gift from Travis. Oh, perfect. See? You get <laughs> <laughs> so I wanted to make Mario a special cake. I made him a carrot cake. It doesn't look that nice. Dude. Yeah, it, it looks more like this. <laughs> yeah. No, I really appreciate it. Like, I had a lot of fun with you in the kitchen. Lining down the... Okay. And how do you feel about aging? I'm a little afraid because I always compare myself with other people. I feel like, oh, there's people who are 25 who are like way more successful oh, than yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think I've lived a very rich life. I've experienced so much. But one thing I haven't experienced is relationships. I feel like I'm a baby, a child. bro. I'm a child. Maybe this is the year 2020 where I'm gonna find a girlfriend. Or where I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> where I'm gonna like take it to the next level with my bromo. <laughs> who knows, you know? I want to be open for that and not be scared and not push it away. So that is my goal for 2020. 20. Let's close our eyes. Why his eyes is twitching? <laughs> Let's no, okay, well then I think my wish then, I want to get out of my head and be more in the present moment and stay more in action. So get that's ready. my wish for the next year. All right, let's do it. You ready? After three, we take a deep breath together. Okay. Then we blow it out, okay. All right. One, One two, two, three. three. My chin's in the batter. Great! And that brings us to the first question I got. Mario, would you... What would you rather do? Sit on a cake and eat D? Or sit on a D and eat cake? Eat D? You a do. D is penis, right? Penis? Yeah. Excuse me! I thought that... Yeah, a D? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fair to say that the penis. Yeah, it's having the penis. Sit on like a dog. I don't know. The thought of eating penis just seems a little bit cannibalistic. I'm gonna sit right on that thing and I'm gonna eat my cake. I'm not ready yet! Like I said, I'm such a baby when it comes to like intimacy in general, even with women. Okay, well then, like, like, do you just do it yourself? No! Then you are missing. Out. <laughs> yeah. While you're like taking care of yourself and I know, don't even take care of myself. I think I'm like I told you like I have slight asexual tendencies I'm not a very sexual person. When, when is the last time you took care of yourself? Three days before when I did my clone willy thing. Insert your erect penis into the tube. Come on erection, don't give up on me now. I completely f***ed it up. This is ridiculous. If I find a girlfriend, I want to make sure that she's cool with us. So any girl out there, if you want the D, if you want a piece of the cake, if you want the D, you gotta get with me. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's your new tag. Line, bro. I'm gonna put that on my Tinder profile. Damn, they look so fucking cute together. Like, just date already, Mar. You had plenty of vagina throughout half of your life. Time to switch it up. First of all, half of my life? Do you think I'm gonna die when I'm 50, bro? I eat so healthy, you know, with that shit. I feel like the technology, I'm not so afraid of aging because also I feel like technology oh. is gonna get to a point where. I think that shit, like half of the life you've lived up to this point, you've had vagina. Not like half of your entire life. Oh! <laughs> anyway, I had. Don't underestimate. I had vagina at 12. 12? No, I lost my virginia at 15 to a prostitute in Peru. But I didn't pay her though. Let's just spill the tea now that we're talking about it. <gasps> Fuck, I did it. Mario! That was so stupid. I just wanted to like spill the tea. Anyways, Travis, do you. Have you been with women before? Yes. Yes. I absolutely have beautiful men before. Oh, what? What's, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> Great. No. Clear it up. Because I liked making them feel good. Yeah. I'm the same. Whenever I was with a girl, I don't care at all if I come. I'm just all about her. Really? Yeah. Why? Probably like performance anxiety. I just want to be good at everything. Yeah. Everything in life, you know. Your personality type makes you super, super productive. And it like, makes you get a lot of shit done because you want to be the best at everything that you do. Yeah. But I think also it makes you super hard on yourself. Any bit of time you take off, any time you're wasting, Mario like beats himself up. Mm -hmm. I need some to make some time to be kind to myself and to also celebrate my wins because it's so easy to achieve something in life and then move on raise to the, the next goal. thing raise, raise it bar. keep going right so you look back at your life and you're like i wish i had enjoyed the moment i want to take some time to fucking celebrate to go to coachella music festival take leave my phone and just live in that moment and have a good time and that's what we're going to keep doing in this video so let's move on to the next part what's up <laughs> All right. Um, do you mind taking off your shirt? Uh, what's your name again? Dahlia. <laughs> Dahlia. Dahlia, where are you from and how old are you? 
I'm from Idaho, a <laughs> small town. Is this your first uh, casting couch you're doing? Yes. Honey, you can put your shirt back on. Uh, what the fuck is, th oh, that's the team. <laughs> We're gonna take our spirit animal test. There's this test and it says, which gay animal tribe do you belong to? And I, at this point, like, you know, most people just assume automatically that I'm gay. Like, we post a picture together on Instagram and people send me things like, hey, hey Mario, congrats, you guys are so cute together. Yeah. I'm just gonna roll with it, you know? So if I were gay, let's find out which gay animal I would be because I wanna know. We're gonna take this test now, together at the same time. Pick a way to spend a Friday night. I'm gonna guess for you, first yeah. of all. I think that you'd rather do dinner with close friends. A hundred percent. What would mine be? A night with food and film. Yeah! Oh, we know we each know other. Each other. Pick, Pick a Madonna, Madonna song. song. Based yeah. on what you're seeing. Oh, just based on the look here? Yeah, I guess For sure, so. like a prayer. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. Oh, no. Yes! <laughs> yeah! Oh, bro, bro. Bro! 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 bro. 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 <laughs> Pick a pattern. These are so random. Like these are yeah. scientifically accurate ways scientifically of determining proven. your sexuality. I've done the sexuality test where I try to find out which sexuality I am. It turns out I'm straight but bi curious. I guess you would pick this one. Yeah, this one I would. Cool. Yeah. Bro. 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 What are you most afraid of? Spiders, clowns, flying, or rejection? Rejection. Hands it's down. not even a question. <laughs> rejection, I can handle. I'm actually really good with rejection. It doesn't wow. bother me. I much. should be. I've done so many modeling castings exactly. where I'm constantly rejected, but still, like, rejection, if somebody criticizes me, I hate myself for it. Oh, yeah. I have a lot of self hate from in my childhood. So, for example, if you were mad at me for some reason, even if it's like unfair or whatever, I would hate myself. I'd be like, I hate why that did so you, much. That makes why me feel so sad. For you know? you. I can never be mad at somebody else. I did an, an acting class. They asked, like, hey, pick one person for a model act. You have to picture a person there and pick somebody you fucking hate and I couldn't do the exercise until I pictured myself and then I did so a monologue sad. and I had so much hate bro acting was like the most transformative thing in my life because through those exercises through picturing a person like my mother there I realized how much love I have for her it really changed my relationships so now I want to go back to New York to my old acting school yeah now that I know you bro oh my god maybe something's yeah. gonna come up that is unleashed it's still like hidden yeah. or blocked you know pick a fruit I would say dragon fruit yeah yeah, yeah, bro. yeah bro you dragon did. ball pick a Gemstone. Uh, okay, I picked the sapphire because I'd sell that shit on the black market. Yeah, bro. Gotta get my coin, bitch. Pick a book. All oh, right, here we okay. go. Uh, hands down, Harry Potter. <laughs> All I gotta say is Havana Kedavra. Stop. Havana, I said Havana. Hey, my heart is in Havana. <laughs> my spirit animal has always been uh, a puma because I'm independent like a cat. I'm black. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh no, God. I wish it's not that big. But I turns out, it is. turns out, we're gonna find out. Turns out, turns out, my animal is a seahorse. A seahorse. Mine's a, a seahorse, bro. Bro, we're seahorses. Whoa. So let's so what read does that it. Mean? Congratulations, you are a seahorse. While you may appear cute and naive from the outside, in reality, you're determined, ambitious, and fiercely protective. Do we appear cute and naive? I don't think. Do I we do. look cute from the outside? You guys tell us. <laughs> Come on, you guys, stop, stop. <laughs> That's good, no, we're actually not. You're also a seahorse, bro. I'm a seahorse, bro. You're becoming me. Yeah, and you know what? We're becoming each you other. You know what the male seahorses do? They fucking have babies, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You just made that up, bro. No. That's the only animal Shut the fuck where up. the male has babies and it shoots them out of its stomach and it's the most disgusting no. thing. A male can give birth to over 2,000 baby seahorses. So I'm about to give you a baby, boy. <laughs> I'm about to give you a motherfucking baby for your birthday. Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. I think you deserve now to receive my birthday gift for you. I'm ready. I have to say, I'm not the best at like presentation and shit like that. So um, there's two gifts, no packaging, no unwrapping. Just stick your hand in here and you're gonna pull it out. I hate pulling it out. <gasps> yeah! It is Yoshi because the thing is guys, Travis, that hands down, you are one of the reasons why I feel so at home here in Los Angeles right now. I have commitment issues, so having a dog scares me. I'm not a dog person. He has a cat allergy, so I thought the middle ground would be a turtle. Let this remind you that I I'm always with you, you know? So yeah. if you feel lonely and I'm not there, just look at the turtle. Look at it. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. Thanks, bro. As a reminder. Bro. And a lot of people have requested that one. Yeah. Um, Oh, oh, was it cell phone? Is that a Nokia? <laughs> Beard trimmer? This might change everything. Because I've never. 
I have a lot of insecurities, mm -hmm. and one of them has always been like what my, most men are insecure about, you know. Mm. So this is like Their a emotions. social experiment, yeah. For emotions. <laughs> and, uh, emotions let me put the frame a little higher. <laughs> no, yeah. fine, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just grab it and react to give me your honest opinion because I want to know if there's something wrong with me, if there's something I have to worry about. <laughs> or even, or even this, just enough the way I am, you know? Is this your mammogram result? No, it, it, it came from, it comes from my childhood. I always, I always had the fe feeling that I'm not enough. Like no matter what I do, I always felt like I have to do more, I have to be more, you know? Hey, so with hey, that, hey, I hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. you are enough. Okay. I don't care what's in this bag. Okay. You're already enough, no matter okay. what. Okay, okay. Always. Alright. <laughs> what, what do you think it is? Mark. Is this your dick in a bag? Yes! Oh it, is, it is! It is! It is! Mom! Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> and it glows in the dark too! This is your... It's your penis! It makes a sound too! <laughs> oh, guys! <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that, bro! Wow! It even, it even got like the details there too! It's very detailed, yeah. Wow! Is that is that accurate? Yeah, that's wow. it. Because, like, it's yeah. so smooth! What a nice... <laughs> it's very nice! Like, what are yeah. you talking... What insecurity are you talking about? Because the thing is, about? like, the things the problem is with men. You compare yourself to, like, adult entertainment, you know? At Burning Man, I had a situation where there was a camp and they did, like, a, a naked bar hopping. I was sitting there having tea at a camp. It was like Animal Planet and I was just watching oh, all, all these penises. Of course! And they were all gigantic, so I was like, fuck, bro. Oh my gosh, no, Mario, this is... Wait, let's see, because I can actually test to see. And like, you're not small by oh. any means. 100%, there's nothing to be insecure about there. That's, that's very nice, and also, Width is a really important thing, and you are slaying in that department. <laughs> That's the most thoughtful gift. You gave me something that you were so insecure about, and even though it is just a penis, it's not just a penis. I love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. There was one more challenge, and that was how about you both take a day off, leave all cameras and phones at home, and you do whatever you feel like doing that day. And you know what, guys? That's what we're gonna do because we love filming together, but we also just love being, being together. That was so Bravos. sweet too, by the way. Can we just acknowledge that that's so sweet that it's the top liked comment? Yeah. Encouraging us just to like enjoy our day together. I, I love the positivity and the support. Yeah. So much. It's, there's you. so much positivity, so like, yeah. we really do appreciate it. Let's just have our birthday. <laughs> no, let's fucking have it, bro. Let's fucking have it then. Hey, don't you wanna come?